Okay, so I'm nice and clear. I just want to be sure so when the other people watch this, they're going like, Huh? What do you say? I can't hear him over the game! Alright, I'll do the actual introduction in a moment, but of course I'll give you guys the hint that I'll be trying to switch between a few games tonight if I can get the post-its pulled up. No, I'm just starting. It's a late stream. It was later than expected because my recording programs weren't exactly cooperating! Alright, so, the new um, streaming software I'm using is called Mishira, or Mishira. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. It's currently a program that's stuck in alpha as of September 2014, since the developer currently ditched it, unless there is further support. It was going to be a part of the OBS streaming software and have a lot more intuitive features. But unfortunately right now I am stuck with the alpha, but it's pretty easy to get used to. It's a very, very, very nice um, piece of software to use, so I highly recommend it. But there is the chance, of course, for with it being an alpha, there's a good chance there can be a good amount of bugs. Anyways, introduction time. Hello, I'm Jester de Rama. Welcome to Darkest Dungeon. Well, I shall, um, where's a good word for excavate? I shall excavate the old manor of the dungeon. The old dungeon of the manor. Man, I cannot English for crap today. So yeah, I'm Jester. Welcome to Darkest Dungeon. We're going to do a little bit of exploring. I am going to start a new game for you guys. Since I previously was trying to get used to the game in Darkest Basement and Darkest Burrito. So, call this one... Hey, Mark Barks, don't get too inappropriate or I'm gonna have to bump you. So, darkest something. Darkest something. Ah, I hurt my finger trying to crack my knuckles. Hmm, how about darkest basement? Um, maybe. Uh, nah. I guess I could darkest Taco Bell, or would that be um, copyright infringement? Hmm. This is actually a difficult one because I'm trying to think of something funny. Darkest bathroom. How about we go with that? <laughs> because no one wants to go into a dark bathroom. Okay, let's go down into the darkest bathroom. I'll move the mouse out of the way for this fancy introduction. You will arrive along the old road. I will. It winds with a troubling I love the art style. Suggestion through the corrupted countryside. Leading <laughs> only, I fear, to ever more tenebrous places. There is a sickness in the ancient pitted cobbles of the old road. Interesting. And on its writhing path, you will face viciousness, violence, and perhaps other damnably transcendent terrors. So steal yourself, and remember there can be no bravery. <laughs> madness. The old road will take you to hell. But in that gaping abyss, we will find our redemption. A nice and gothic narration for the opening, don't you think? Now I'm just making sure things are still loading and showing up okay. Okay, Mishira is still working fine. Okay, software okay? Yeah, we're good. So, as you hear the clankety clank of my necklace, we wait on the loading screen. Very patiently. In fact, where are my glasses? I actually will feel more comfortable playing the game if I can see things better. Because I'm a nerd and I require glasses as per geek conduct. Usually most geeks tend to, kind of tend to have a pocket protector or a calculator or just a pencil somewhere random. But I prefer to just stick with the glasses and not get too nerdy because I'll just have other attire that makes me look just as nerdy because I kind of do the whole gaming look. Or gamer look, sorry. 
Oh, it already loaded. I was too distracted by cleaning my glasses. I'm sorry about that. Hold on. So, just so you guys know, this stream will be broken down into parts um, in unmarked points, or at least in points I find good spots to stop in editing. So, I'll just keep this mostly seamless in stream. Yes, I must explore and choose my way to go to that room. Have run up these lanes. Keep to the side path. Oops. The hamlet is just ahead. Up my microphone. I need to adjust the legs. Eh. I need a better setup, I tell you what. Okay, it's been a little bit, so I'm making sure. D to move forward, A to move back. You prefer, if you prefer the mouse, you can click ahead or behind the party to move them. Let's go forward. <laughs> He's already losing sanity. Dispatch this thug in brutal fashion. No, I get surprised. Hmm. Combat is turn-based. On your hero's turn, click a skill icon and click. Oops. And then click on a highlighted target. If you can't select a particular skill, it's because that hero needs to be standing in a different spot, or there are no valid targets. Move over the skill to see the requirements. A mouse over. Wow, I can't even read today. So what? I can open his vein. Five. And now he has a bleed status. And now he's gonna attack me. Oh! Crap. Usually a zealous accusation tends to work pretty nicely. Oh, it does. Yay. 50 gold. Yeah, it's gold. That gold is worth 50 gold. Hmm. Interactive object objects, curios. While exploring, you will often find interactive objects. Click or press W to investigate them. Take a look at this tent. Sure. The brigands left valuables. Leave nothing unchecked. There oh yeah. Is much to be found Oops. In forgotten places. I forgot to switch these guys around because I don't need a row going in front of a knight. That doesn't make any sense. An ambush. Oh. Send these vermin a message. Yeah. I'll send him a message. The has returned, and their kind is no longer welcome. The narrator talks a lot. I don't want to interrupt him. Um, actually, I want to bleed this guy, don't I? Bleed, big man, bleed! As dark as that sounds. Hmm. Read my fan fiction, good sir. <laughs> yeah, I'll kind of go with that one, Mark. That's a good idea. <laughs> um, the streams, um, they can usually be a few hours, but in this case, I'll probably be playing this game for about an hour and then switch a game. And try and see where it goes from there. That way, kind of change it up and doesn't, don't make it feel stale. Next one, open up. Ah, oh, no, I can't. Um, let's see. Accuracy. Eh, grape shot. Oh, he just did the same thing, dude. It's not cool. No, oh, I can resist another bleed. How funny. And how convenient-ish. Ooh, yeah. Damage power. The Crusader shall vanquish the evil, yes. With a stalwart sword, yes. So, yes, I shall, yes. Kill this guy, yes. Eventually. Or never, at this rate. Oh, I can stun this guy. Finally. A buff! Mm -hmm -hmm. Can I just kill this guy? The bigger the beast, the greater the glory. I dodged a bullet. Oh, yeah. Mm, stunning blow. Mm, how about we mm, smite this good sir? Mm, yes. Mm, oh, it didn't work. God dang it. Confidence surges as the enemy Oh crumbles. yes, victory. And a health stone. A deed or two. And a torch. Twenty-five gold. 
Quest complete. Click to ex exit the dungeon. Sin doesn't look quite right with this one. Well, I'm towards the end of this little area, so I should be fine. Or not. Oh, I'll be fine. I can just get out of here. <laughs> 5,000 gold. I'm rich. Ish. Gold. Jade. Jade. 250 gold each. And the heirlooms. I now own more of my own manor. Because I didn't before for some reason. And what do we get? Lagophobia. Fear of darkness. Minus 20%. Stress resist if torch below 25. Unerring. Ooh. Plus 10% damage. Ranged skills. Although he's kind of close range, so how does that help me? Irresponsible. Plus 5% virtue chance. How does that help me? Oh well. I'll just return to town and see what it does. Um, usually when it comes to characters that are pre-generated, I'd like to um, normally leave their names as is so they still can keep their personalities. Welcome home. As much as I might. As it is. This squalid hamlet, oh, wait. these corrupted lands, they are yours now. And you are bound to them. You're a very depressed owner. As I was saying, I like to usually keep the, um, characters with their original names as to give them their own personalities. Or leave them with their own personalities. So, I have Reynold, or Reynold? I'll just say Reynold. Or is it Reynold? Reynold. And Dismas. Reynold and Dismas successfully escorted you to the hamlet. Um, oh, as far as the Five Nights um, part, portion of the stream, I was thinking maybe going back to the first night, or say not the first night, the first game. So I can maybe finally finish that. Oh, thank you very much, Link Sword, Link's Worst Night, um, Link's Worst Nightmare. Thanks for donating the $10, I love it. Actually, let me adjust that real quick. The thing wasn't showing up correctly. You may see a little fluctuating window, but that's because I'm doing it. I didn't plan for longer names. Okay, good enough. Ah! I'm adjusting things I shouldn't be. This whole stream is getting broken. Okay. I should actually be paying attention to the actual stream, sorry. Anyways, let's get back to where we were. Ah! I didn't want to do that! Um, what's H do? Oh, yes, the help menu. Right click and blah 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 blah. I'll learn more about these as I go. I'm not going to explain them all now. They'll be too boring. Ancestors memoirs. View Ancestors memoirs. Hmm, let's see. House of Ruin. The prologue. And the old road. Yes, that's how tell us a story about, um, our intros and stuff. Because we shall advance, um, through the night in this path of things. I'm using a particular voice because I feel it suits the era. And men, soldiers and outlaws, fools and corpses. <laughs> All will find their way to us now that the road is clear. Yay. You're the stagecoach. The stagecoach is your hero lifeblood. You'll need to recruit these two heroes to fill out a party of four. Drag and drop them into your roster. While you're here, spend some of your starting resources on upgrading the stagecoach network. This will increase the number of heroes available here in the future. To upgrade, click the plus symbol on the left, and then click the upgrade. Well, I'm currently actually working on being a voice actor in general, <laughs> because that's why I'm happy to participate in so many audio plays nowadays. Ah... What's your name? Percy. Come here, Percy. What better laboratory and than a blood-soaked battlefield? Evic you? Evic? This text is sometimes unreadable. What can you do for me? Divine comfort. Party heal one to two. Um, judgment. Hand of light. Well, party heal is a good thing, except it doesn't hit the fourth guy, sadly. Um, what does my um witch doctor do? Um, play grenade, incision, 
This works out because you can go both ways on the um, sections. Okay, his preferred position's over there. And these usually tend to be the um, spots you want to kind of keep your characters to give them the most optimal usage of their... Um, excuse me, not burps, abilities. So, example... Got ourselves the Highwayman. Um, doing the second position for all of his attacks, which are mostly range or with a knife. And then we have our Crusader, who shall slash and show fan fictions at the enemies. So, as I look at some other stats and get an idea of what I'm looking at, stun resist, nice. Plus two speed, that's good. Known cheat, oh, he's not allowed to gamble in town. <laughs> Sorry, cheaters. Kind of prosper sometimes, actually. <laughs> um, quirks. The ruin. Oh, I thought they said the ru ruins. It's the runs. Why does my plague doctor have to ironically get the runs? Oh, well, I'll have to get rid of that later. Oh, sorry, that was a spoiler. My bad. You can actually get rid of some of these abilities if you don't want them. Because I'd have no idea if there's a max yet. So, now that I've spent enough time talking about all the stuff of um, some information I shall look at things Most will end up here covered in the poisoned earth awaiting merciful oblivion that's depressing you look like a specter with your um, overcoat hanging down like this or are you a ghost therein lies the mystery so guild no Mm, I think you're fine. Let's go embark. Let's stop wasting time. Let's embark. A mecca of madness and morbidity. Okay, what Your do I need to do? Begins. Okay, I get my work begins. Well, let me just read what I need to do first. Unholy abominations turning the light against itself. Meet them in battle and learn how they fight. Apprentice level one. Girls completes 100% of room battles in the skirmish on the estate map. Okay, I can do this. Leper only. Different class, a leper. Okay, here are my rewards to potentially get. Um, I shall assume these are the positions. Yes. Oh yes, that's how it goes. I remember. The usual suspects. <laughs> yes, you're in a shape to go back out there. You're not insane yet. This is your little insanity bar. I think I'm almost set. Yes, provisions, the that's right. The preparedness, measured now in gold, later in blood. Oh, blood.